Hi folks, in today's video we're going to be taking a look at five things that are almost impossible to find at a gathering of Antifa. Hi folks, Howard here for VP Prepping and Survival, and as I said in the open to the video, today we're going to be taking a look at five things that are almost impossible to find at any gathering of Antifa. And for those who don't know, Antifa is the anti-fascist movement. It's really based on the old communist movement uh, after World War II. Uh, that has popped up all over college campuses. They're professional protesters, professional agitators, and general pains in the rear end and burdens on society. So here, are, without further ado, are five things that you will not find, most likely, in any gathering of Antifa. Number one, somebody not wearing skinny jeans. These people all dress the same. They're in skinny jeans. They look terrible. I hope that these guys get a group discount at Hot Topics because it's clear that all of them spend their time shopping there and get their fashion advice from watching bad videos by Green Day. Number two, I guarantee you will not find an American flag at any Antifa event. That's because Antifa is a communist group that openly hates America, hates the principles on which we were founded, hates the Constitution, and hates our laws. Number three, the third thing you're not going to find at any gathering of Antifa is somebody able to rationally articulate what it is that they're opposed to. I was at an event, a march against Sharia. That is, marching against Sharia law being applied in courts here in the United States as the applied legal principle to decide cases. That's pretty straightforward and pretty easy to understand. And yet the Antifa group that showed up to protest the march was chanting things like no borders, no nations, no more deportations, um, KKK, punch a racist in the face uh, let's see black lives matter no racist police uh, all sorts of ridiculous things that had nothing to do with this march whatsoever. So I think that if they could rationally figure out what it is they were opposed to and they were there and stay focused on that they would do a much better job but you're not going to find that in a group of Antifa. The fourth thing that you will not find at any gathering of Antifa is somebody with a paying job. It's hilarious. They've got these big banners calling themselves the Workers' Party. One of the guys across the street that was protesting our march against Sharia was screaming up a storm that they're the workers, they're the backbone of this economy, the backbone of society, the backbone of this country. No, you're not. Most of you don't have a job, and the ones that do, at best, you are the fast food workers of America. The fifth and final thing that you will not find in any gathering of Antifa is somebody with self-control. Seriously, these people looked somewhere between Bruce Banner halfway transformed into the Incredible Hulk. They had veins popping out, eyes bulging, spit flying out of their mouth, angry, irrational, bat crap crazy, hyped up emotionally because all they have is emotion. They can't win on logical application of facts. They can't win in, in just a simple discussion. So all they are is just hyped up and wound up and reacting totally on emotion based on lies and half-truths that they've been told. It is a comedy to watch these guys. You would swear that, that they were there protesting actual neo-Nazis when indeed they are there protesting people who simply don't want Sharia law applied in their courts or in other cases, you know, protesting a Trump convention, protesting anything. Anything that they don't agree with is treated as fascism because they're stupid and they can't help it. As always, I'm Howard for VP Prepping and Survival and this has been five things that you will not find at any Antifa gathering. Remember folks, in any survival situation, you don't just want to survive, you want to thrive. Happy shooting everybody.